Hey everybody, this is Emily. Hey, so I had a couple of people ask if I could do some type of a tutorial to show you guys how I work with Font Lab Pad and with Font Books. So here I am, I'm on my Mac. And first I'm gonna go to my Font Book, which I have put down here at the bottom. Um, but you can go to your launch pad and type in font and there it is right there. Sorry, I've never done one of these before so I will try to keep my hand steady and click in. So we're gonna click and open up our font book and then you wanna make sure that you are viewing and have repertoire checked because that's gonna show you from what I've heard, all of those cool glyphs. So make sure you have repertoire, repertoire checked there. And then you wanna make sure that you have the font that you're looking for. Um, and I have the Samantha Craft font. So that is the one that I had done in my picture that I showed everybody. And then I'm going to open up, let's see here. Where is, ah, Font Lab Pad. So you're gonna open Font Lab Pad up, maybe. There we go. So um, I have my Font Lab Pad and I'm gonna kind of stick it over here. And then once you have your Font Lab Pad up, you wanna go up to the File button and you're gonna click on Open Installed. And then that is gonna pull up all of the fonts that you have installed on your Mac. And then I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna type in Samantha. Let's see, S-A-M-A-N-T-H-A. And I used the Samantha Craft one. So I'll click on that and then open it. And then let's see. I can start typing, so I'll type Phoebe's name again. P-H-O-E-B-E. -E. And it is not adding any glyphs at this time, so I need to then pull the glyphs over from my font book. So I'm gonna go over to my Samantha Craft, and then I need to, I'm gonna change the P and the B and the E. So I'm gonna go, let's see, go all the way. I need to find my P and maybe you guys know a better way of doing this. I do not, but I'm gonna go down till I get to my P's. <laughs> there probably is a better way to do this. So my apologies. Um, those are all capitals, but Let's see, yeah. Not quite sure why the P's are, let's see. Um, there's a couple P's. Don't know, I'm gonna go ahead and um, just put this one in. So what you wanna do is you wanna do a command copy and then it's gonna copy it. And then you go back over to your font lab pad and then you're gonna highlight the letter that you want to replace with your glyph and then you're gonna do a control V and it's as simple as that. Uh, let's go to, I'll go ahead and do the E. So I'm gonna go back to my book here. Um, actually, hold on, I'm gonna go back down. Ooh, sorry guys. Don't judge me when you look at this, my apologies. I am just as new to this as most of you guys are as well. Um, let's see, I want to find a B. Let's see, and an E, so whichever one I can find first. J, sorry, let's see here, keep going. Anybody have any ideas on how to do this faster? Please chime in. Um, Let's see. <laughs> okay, uh, there's a couple of E's. 
Nope. There's an E. Mm, let's use, let's use this one. So again, we're gonna control, cut it, control C, or excuse me, command C, and then we're just gonna replace that E. And then we're gonna do a command V, and that sticks in the little glyph there. And then we're gonna go back over here and I'll just put a, find a good B and then I will stop the madness here. Actually, um, I don't know. I think, well, I was gonna say I might change that E out, but not right now. Let me just go find a B and then we'll call it a day. Super easy. Um, this has been the easiest way for me to get those glyphs in here. I have noticed that you have to stay in the same font. Um, so I can't like move around to Samantha um, italics or anything like that. Um, in my mind, it has to be in the same, um, in the same uh, font, uh, font style that all the rest of them are in. Let me get a good B and then, ooh, there we go. That might've been the B that I used um, the other day. But anyway, again, Command C. And then we're gonna go back over here. And we're gonna highlight the B. And then just do a Command V. And boom, that is it. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna change that P out because I really liked the P that I used before. But for the most part, that is it. So let's say that I was ready to use this one and keep it. <clears throat> And this is what I want to put into to, to, to design space. So we want to make sure and save it. So we're going to go up to file and then we're going to save it as. And let's see, we're going to make sure that it is set as an SVG and then you want to save it. Um, you know, you can type whatever you want there. Um, we'll leave it at that and then go ahead and save it. And then go ahead and open up your Cricut Design Space. And let's see, there we are there. And go ahead and go to New, and then down here you're gonna click Upload, and then you're gonna click Upload Image, and we wanna browse, because we wanna go find that that we had just done um, and then I just have it on my desktop so click here I think that's the one that I just did and then we're going to choose that one um, that is really small but it is there um, I had heard that you want to make sure and always tag it for um, easier access if you ever need to come back to it so we'll do Phoebe Samantha, and then you want to save it. And then it is supposed to be right here. Maybe it's just too small. Let's see, and then insert it. There we go. Um, so that is interesting. Um, so you can use it as that. One of the other cool things is that you can still ungroup this. So um, you can go over here and you can ungroup it just like you would anything else you're doing in Design Space. And then all of those letters you can now move um, as you would um, anything else. So it's pretty cool that you can still man manipulate it like you normally would. Um, but that is how you do it as far as um, getting it to work with all of the different applications and getting it into de design space. Very cool. Way easier in my mind than to go in and have to move things around, but I hope this is helpful. I'm sorry this is really long, but let me know if you're able to get it taken care of. I hope so. I absolutely love this font and I love the font lab pad and I love using my font book and I'll be doing it in that pretty much from now on in my mind. Way easier for me. Have a good day, guys. Bye.